Hey guys, I'm out here today because I need to cut my rhubarb. There's supposed to be some kind of frost warning. I'm gonna just take that as my cue to get this cut. So I wanna try making some rhubarb jelly. I will bring you along and show you how to do it. And rhubarb is done for the year. So I'm getting ready to start some really easy rhubarb jam today. I cut all of my rhubarb before and now I'm ready to start canning. So for your supplies, you're gonna need a water bath canner. You're gonna need 12 pint or half pint jars and lids. Um, you're gonna need crushed pineapple, strawberry jello, lots of sugar and rhubarb. So for 12 pints of jelly, I need 12 cups of rhubarb and 10 cups of sugar. So it's, it's a lot that goes in it, but I think you'll find if you ever make jelly or jam of any kind, you're gonna use a lot of sugar and it's gonna surprise you how much. So first things first is I'm gonna put all the rhubarb here in this pot. And then you need to add all of your sugar, which like I said, is 10 cups. Pretty much looks like just a big bowl of sugar. Let's see, there's, oh, there's a couple things of rhubarb, but once it cooks down, you'll see the rhubarb again. Add your pineapple also, which is, this is two cups of crushed pineapple. So you add all of that in and then turn the heat on to medium high and it's going to boil for 10 minutes. While it's boiling, you want to stir it the whole time or it's going to burn. While you're cooking it or waiting for it to heat up, also heat up your jars. Uh, mine are in the water bath canner. Um, you don't ever want to add hot food into a cold jar or put it into hot water. So mine are just preheating. Um, once this is close to being done, I'll pull them out, put them on a, um, a wooden cutting board and to protect the countertop, and then I'll fill them on there. So once it start, the sugar starts breaking down, it's gonna kind of have this like sludgy look to it. That's a good thing. Um, and then you just keep stirring it until it starts to boil, and then you're gonna set your timer for 10 minutes and let it boil hard, not just like a gentle boil. You can definitely let it go because you want it all to break down and dissolve um, the rhubarb. Once it starts cooking, it also starts to break down, which you really want because if it's crunchy, I, maybe there are people out there that like crunchy rhubarb jelly, but I am not a fan. So this has been boiling for about eight minutes. You can see it's broken down a lot. It's not not big chunks anymore. There's some in there. I might let it go an extra minute just to make sure it's really broken down like I like. So after 10 minutes, you're going to remove it from the heat and then you're going to add your jello. Um, you can you need 12 ounces of strawberry jello. This is basically in place of pectin, which is what you would normally use in jam, but um, the gelatin in here is gonna help it set up. Now it has an even richer red color, which is way more appetizing. Okay, so now we've taken out most of our jars out of that hot water. Um, also, I have a pot back here with water in it that's hot. Um, it has the lids in there. You just want to get them hot. Um, you don't even need to boil it. Just make sure the, that they've been sitting for several minutes in hot water. Um, that makes the seal soft. So then when you put it on the jar and you put it in the water, it actually seals it. Um, so I'm going to finish taking these out. Empty all the hot water out. Then one of these is really good. You put it in the mouth of the jar and it helps you just not spill so much. You don't want to fill them completely to the top. You need to leave about a quarter of an inch from the top so that it doesn't explode. So you just put the lid on and take one of these, twist it on, and you just have to do it to 
you're you don't have to wrench it on or you're gonna have a really hard time getting it off so just tighten it with your fingers and then we're placing these carefully into the hot water when you put the jars in the canner you need an inch of water above all of the jars and um, you're gonna wait for this to boil and once it starts boiling you're gonna set your timer for 15 minutes and then you're gonna let it just do its thing that's that's the processing part once that 15 minutes is um, over you're gonna turn off the heat you can take the lid off do not try and move the pot especially one this big you're gonna hurt yourself um, and then you can take the jars out with something like this set them on a good place to cool like I said I'm using a wooden cutting board on my countertop let them cool and you should hear the seals start to pop after they start cooling down and that's pretty much it so I'm just taking out the hot jars and that is literally it so you can eat it right away after it's cool or you can put it on the shelf That is it for today. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. The Monte Brothers. <laughs>